Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Michael's Corner. I am sitting by with the APW United States Champion, Kenny. Hi Mike, thanks for having me on. Now, unfortunately, Matthias has a concussion, so he won't be on Michael's Corner, but who better to interview than the APW United States Champion? I'd like to take this time to show this. Oh, there we go. This beautiful belt off. Michael, what do you think about this belt? I think that belt looks great. It looks beautiful. I like how it's made and everything. So talk to me. How did you get your start in wrestling? Well, uh, I was a big fan of uh, Midwest All-Star Wrestling. Uh, I used to go watch their programs over at the Mounds Theater. Uh, they ran there pretty frequently and they were running over at uh, Uncle Mike's Emporium in Hudson, Wisconsin in about 2018, I think it was. Yeah, I remember that because I was, I was there for that. Um, a former friend of mine used to take me to the shows all the time. And I used to take photos of the events they had and whatnot. So. Yeah, so uh, back, back in uh, probably about 2018, uh, I would go watch uh, some, some of the Orrin Vite and uh, Riley Jackson. Some of those guys were coming out of the academy, uh, Airwolf. And uh, so I'll, they, I was like, Who, who's training these guys? And then it turned out that Ken Anderson was opening a school or had, a, had opened a school and was training guys. So uh, that was kind of my, uh, like a bell rang off in my head that it's time for me to act on my dream. Mm-hmm. So, um, how, how are you liking your wrestling career so far? How, and how many years have you been in the biz? Okay, well, <clears throat> right now I, I am very much loving my wrestling career. Um, you know, I'm very happy being All Out Pro Wrestling's uh, United States Heavyweight Champion. Or, yeah, United States Heavyweight Champion. And uh, I love the title. Couldn't be prouder of... Uh, of representing um, this neck of the woods, and uh, it was a two-part question. Well, yeah, it was. But it's okay. Okay. So yeah, uh, it's just been great, you know. Mm -hmm. So if it were up to you, who would you like to defend the title against against next? Well, I got uh, got news recently that I will be defending the title next against Shea Diesel. Oh. So um, that's that's a pretty big uh, problem in front of me there. I got a lot of training and a lot of um, calculating to do. Mm -hmm. um, he's not behind me, is he? No. <laughs> no. Okay. You're safe with me. All right. Yeah, Shea Diesel is, he's, he's a big dude. He sure is. He's like six foot eight and 300 pounds, so. Wow. Yeah, you better... You're going to have your hands full. Yeah, and he's also uh, trained with Ken Anderson and all the uh, excellent uh, trainees over at the academy as well. Mm-hmm. So, um, what does Kenny likes to do when he's not wrestling? Well, uh, I'm an avid guitar player, so I play guitar all the time, uh, write songs. Uh, I own a hundred plus year old house so one of my uh one of my part-time uh jobs is fixing up the old house and trying to get it uh presentable yeah okay wow did you hear that guys he has a hundred year old house wow who knew yeah yeah it's a Not lot it's a lot of trouble yeah um, you know, I got to say, even though, you know, I might have gave you a hard time at tonight, um, but thank you for doing this with me, you know, on short notice because 
you know, we don't like to see wrestlers get injured. Right, yeah, it's very unfortunate what happened to Matthias tonight. Uh, uh, I heard he suffered a concussion at the hands of uh, Bullet Bronson and Nick Pride, and he was unable to make this interview with you, Mike, and I appreciate you. Thank you so much for doing this, not only for myself, but for everybody in the uh, independent wrestling uh, community. We, we, uh, we, we're all thankful for, for uh, your support, Mike, and um, uh, people like you that come out to these shows and spread the word, record the videos, uh, po post things online, and uh, cheer, for, cheer for the people they like, even though it might not be me sometimes, that's fine, Mike. Yeah. But uh, yeah. you know, I just want to say thank you, Mike, for having me on. You're very welcome. And you know, it's like, even though, like, you know, the fans, I just want people to have a good time. And if they're having a good time, that means we did our jobs. That's right, that's right. And that's what's important because without the fans, you got nothing. That's exactly right, Michael. So, well, I just don't want to waste any more of your time, but where can fans follow you on social media? Okay, well, you can look for Kenny Defiance on Facebook. Uh, Kenny Defiance is on TikTok. Kenny Defiance is on YouTube. Kenny Defiance is on Instagram. And uh, you can follow Kenny Defiance through All Out Pro Wrestling. All Out Pro Wrestling has an event coming up on April 20th. We're partnering with uh, Chippewa Falls uh, Police Department. And um, we'll be putting on a charity event with the Special Olympics. Uh, the charity event will be a basketball game. And it's going to be great. Okay. Well... Well, thank you for being on Michael's Corner, and um, a lot, Michael. and it. you take care and thanks. have a safe trip home, all right? All right. Thanks, guys, for your support. Yep, and you guys have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. You know why. Yeah, what he said. Thanks, Mike. Yep.